Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Drinks with Emo, your 15 minute mental break with beverages. Hey. Uh, I'm Demosthenes, Valley the Space Cowboy. We were touching fingers. We haven't started drinking yet. Touching fingers. We haven't started drinking yet. We haven't gotten that far. That's us normally. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for joining us. Hope that your uh, this video finds you well. Mm -hmm. uh, I always like to start off with thanking you for all the kind likes and comments that you send our way. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know that you appreciate us and that we're doing a good job. An okay job. <laughs> now, uh, the fact that you keep watching is thanks enough. <laughs> The greatest compliment you can give me is the referral of your friends and family. <laughs> That's every realtor's line. <laughs> where, where are you going? Nowhere. Drinkies. I'm thirsty. Valis started putting lemon in her water. And I think it's really to prevent the rest of us from drinking her water because I absolutely hate lemon in water. It's an added benefit. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the way, water with lemon is not today's drink. Just gonna, no. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. It's, if you've never actually tried it before, it is slightly more refreshing with that, or maybe you just ate like a half a slice of cucumber, a little zhuzh, zhuzh it up a little bit. You know, I, you know what kind of water I like? Water. Wait. <laughs> Flavorless water. Um, but this isn't the water episode, that's down the road. Is it? What's wrong with it? What are you, you going to call me out like that? <laughs> We're going to... The taste test to Sunny. Like, what are we gonna oh, do? Oh, not that swell. Uh, Pig piss. Um, I don't know if that's that bad. Yeah, yeah. Especially when I get warmed up. Oh, just. Uh, nah, yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, I uh, definitely appreciate all the comments and questions that you sent our way. And one of the most common questions that we receive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. I receive because she doesn't care, I just show up, is where do we get our beverages? Like, what. How do we decide what to pick, what to mm. drink? And there's three. Three methods. Three. Three ways. Three ways. Three avenues. Okay. Three options. <laughs> okay. Number one. Somebody busted out the thesaurus today. <laughs> hey, come into the shot. It's okay. <laughs> Number one. Uh, requests. If there's something you want us to drink. Let us know, and if I can find it, we will definitely do it on the show. Number two, whatever we have in the fridge. Uh, I don't want to say that we have a wide variety of beverages here yeah. at our disposal, but we do. Mm -hmm. Like, if we didn't have to go out, even if we did not go out and buy a beverage or a bottle or something for the next three months. We'd still have enough for all the shows. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we got some sake we can like tuck down later. We got all kinds of stuff. Plum wine. I don't know. Some homemade Irish cream. Mm. Indeed. But the third way, and what usually is the most successful version, way that we get drinks is we're in stores, and I'm like, hmm. Well, that's only $7. Let's get it. <laughs> and that brings us to today's wine. Mm -hmm. Blackstone Winemaker Select Merlot. Mm -hmm. um, this can be purchased anywhere. Ralph's, Total Wine. Of course, we got it at the Co St. Co. <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why it caught my eye is that when I looked up, it was the physically, physically the closest one to me. Yeah. And I picked... While, while I was looking at cheese or something. I don't even know. I picked it up, and I read the back of the label, and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm in. I'm curious. But I don't read the labels on the show. Oh, jeez. Val does my job apparently yeah it's blackstone winemaker select Marlowe. <laughs> you missed it at blackstone we know what matters to you is taste if a wine tastes good then it's a good wine thank you first of all that for years can we all admit that that is that's it that's wine right there if it, it tastes like shit it doesn't matter if it costs 500 dollars a bottle exactly <laughs> so right off the bat blackstone already up yeah so we've artfully crafted this Merlot in our signature style. Consistent, smooth, balanced, and perfect for any occasion from dinner parties to everyday enjoyment. Mm. I feel like Merlot is perhaps a little bit heavy for everyday enjoyment, but that's just me. We'll find out. 
Arbelot shows rich blackberry plum and raspberry flavors with a hint of vanilla and toasted French bread. So that's why I pricked my interest in Mike. Toasted French bread? What? I'm in. If I could drink something that tastes like toasted French bread. I'd rather just have toasted French bread. Well, if I don't have toasted French bread. <laughs> like right now, in this house. <laughs> there's no toasted there's French There's no toasted bread. French bread. But there's a bottle that says it has hints of toasted French bread in it. So I'm, I'm in. I'm intrigued. Now this is um, vaguely like, just a little bit cooler than room temp. Because it's a red wine. Generally you drink it a little bit mm -hmm. cool, but not cold. That's the general way you do things. Yep. So this is actually like a real bottle of wine. It is. Not a screw tap. There's so a cork. <laughs> there's no screw top, so obviously it's, it's down a point. Mm -hmm. uh, Demosthenes just prefers to just dive right in and not really like even worry about any of the foil. <laughs> so. Well, what happens is I do this now. I give it to Space Cowboy to sniff mm -hmm. while I Ooh, pick the foil up. From here. Good Lord. <laughs> Uh, no, Black wine, Blackstone Winery, they're in mm. a Campo, California, which, nice. which is between Stockton and Sacramento along the 99.5 mm -hmm. there. Smells like... Wine. Wine. It smells like a nice wine, though. Okay. In case you're ever wondering what the difference is between uh, most of your red wines and your white wines, for those of you that don't know... Uh, I know the answer to this. <laughs> and red wines, have they let them sit around in their... Um, their, what do you call those things? Skins. Yeah. They let them sit around their skins, they build up a bunch of tannins, and then they develop the color. Mm hmm So, I mean, there's different, you know, types of grapes and things like that, too, but. So, if you notice when you drink red wine that you get a headache, it's because it's red wine, and it's been sitting around getting, giving those, like, tannins, like I said. Now, Merlot has a tendency to give me a headache, so we'll see how today goes. <laughs> All right. So, it's, it's room temp wine, because mm -hmm. it's red. Yeah. Mm, it smells really nice. It smells. Did you smell the bread? I can smell the bread. Can you? Yeah. I have a really like strong nose though. So, quick aside. Huh. Weird. We were at was it a spice shop or a tea shop? Spice shop. We were at a spice shop in Alexandria, Virginia, mm -hmm. and they had a promotion at the counter. If you could identify. The thirty cents you get like a certain percentage off. Yep. Did you get like twenty five out of thirty? I got I got quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this new tour it's at. That's why I thought about becoming a, a sommelier because I was like, I can smell that shit, you know, like. It's a little, it's a little. Uh, what's the word? It's not bitter. Not bitter is not the word. It's um, like a little biting at the end. It's it smell. It, it's got an impactful scent. The bouquet is strong. I feel like there was an oaky barrel involved. Uh, it is, according to their website, it is aged 11 months in a combination of French and American oak hmm. barrels. It almost smells like a, like a smoky, like a smoked oak. Not quite a fumé. <laughs> <coughs> All right. To drink it? Yet? Not yet. All right. Take a sip. Take a sip. Here we go. Uh, sip. Take a swig. <laughs> Wait. Slaja. School. Got a weird flavor. What is that flavor? Uh, I don't know. It's it's. It hits like wine, and then it turns into something else. It's it's a much lighter merlot than I was anticipating. Yeah, a lot of times merlots are a little bit heavy. This is not heavy. No. But God, what is that flavor? Some sort of leaf. I, <laughs> I don't know if it's psychosomatic. I can almost taste. I can almost taste the bread. I'm getting. I smelled the bread, but I don't really taste it. I taste the crust. It tastes like the crust. It tastes like. Some want, some bread was dipped in it. Hmm. Yeah, there's something like leafy in there. I don't know what it is. It goes down warm. It really does. It's not dry. <sighs> no. <laughs> I can feel it like right here. All right. Um, let's 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 do a proper okay. review. It is Merlot that is very light on the tongue, mm -hmm. and it's very smooth going down. It really is very smooth. Very warm going down. Yeah right it is wow it, it is fire water fire water hot it is it is like whiskey yeah <laughs> it, it, like it is a whew. it's 13 and a half is that it it's in the back yeah 13 and a half abv feels warmer than that um 
I'm not getting any of the fruit notes, but I do get a, the hint of the bread. What about you? I'm not feeling the bread, but like I told you. Well, like I said, right up front, imagine what wine, red wine tastes like, if you've you know, ever had red wine. It, like That's what it tastes like up front. That sort of bright red wine flavor. Mm -hmm. And then it mellows into something very leafy for me. And then I don't know what it's at. I don't know where it's at at the back. Um, according to the website, they call this America's Favorite Mellow. What is that flavor that's going to make me nuts? <laughs> All right, well, again, our choices were... No, it's none of those. It's Like I said, it tastes like a leaf. Rich blackberry, plum, raspberry, with hint of vanilla and toasted French bread. I'm not getting vanilla. You getting vanilla? No, I'm not getting vanilla. No. But that's the thing about wine, as we've, we're learning it every, with every episode mm -hmm. that we do here. What you smell and what and I smell mm -hmm. in the same glass is going to be different. Like right now, I can tell, I can get a little bit of the hit of the, of the, of the bread. She can't. I'm not getting any bread. But she's getting more of a leaf flavor that I'm not getting. There's some sort of a, I don't know, I want to say vegetal. It's not quite vegetal, more herbaceous. Mm. Let's use the big word. Oh. I do like the fact that it is not dry. Mm -hmm. um, it's not sweet. But you. There, uh, it is a little bit up front and then it kind of goes away. Yeah, there, there's a, like a, a moment where you think about yourself, this is going to be a sweet wine, and then. Which is, yeah, that's when the leaves come in. Yeah. Hmm. And added bonus, most wines taste different depending on what you pair them with food-wise. Mm -hmm. So like if you were to sit down and have some French bread or whatever, you might not necessarily taste it in here or you may taste something completely different. This would go great with like, if you're the kind of person that's going to definitely pair a, a, mm -hmm. a Merlot with something. It's that's a nice stinky cheese. I'm thinking more of a, like a delicious steak of some sort. A steak would be nice, yeah. Um, some good pasta. Mm -hmm. This could pair well with the pasta, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like more of a creamy pasta because then it would cut through the creaminess a little bit. Mm. I think you can, I think you can get away with like a red sauce. I feel like that would be really like acidic, a very acidic meal. You think so? I think so. Yeah, because <laughs> like already this is kind of starting now, like yeah. the back of my tongue a little bit. Now, mind you, as far as Italian food goes, I'm definitely a northern Italian cream based. Mm -hmm preference as opposed to southern Italian mm -hmm. with the tomato based. But I See, think this I want some like pungent sp like spready cheese on a french bread. Yeah. It's gonna be real nice with this. <laughs> if you wanted to this <sighs> almost makes me want to go do that. <laughs> I, I, I think that is the best way to describe this wine. If you were going to have the girls over for a wine night you know, a couple of bottles of Merlot, a couple of baguettes, some spready cheese, maybe some grapes. Is that what that this would be the the Merlot that you want to get. Because it is light, it is easy to drink, it is smooth, it does have flavor, but it doesn't knock you out with any particular one flavor. But there is flavors to enjoy if you have a more sophisticated palate. It started out leafy, and now it's skewing <laughs> towards the way that fabric softener smells. Huh. What did you guess that? <laughs> Like, just a little bit. Like, imagine you're walking through, you know, somebody's doing laundry, and it's a little bit like, you kind of get that waft, and you can almost taste it a little bit, like, on your tongue, like, as you're walking by breathing. That's kind of what I'm getting in the middle, weirdly enough. I'm getting laundry. Mm, no, no, I'm not getting I don't mind. All. Weirdly. Well, then that's a clean drink, I Ooh. guess. <laughs> Let's give this a proper rating now, as we come to the apex of our show here. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to five. How would you rate Blackstone, Wine Maker Select, and Merlot? This was Not That It Matters. Am I rating it against other Merlots or how much I'm enjoying it? Like, is this dog show rules or is it? No. It... <laughs> There's like eight of you out there that are getting me that reference. Yeah. Um, She's a lovely bitch. I don't know. Like, just gut. What does your gut tell you when you A rate this? Three. Three. Yeah. Hmm. But that's purely preferential. Merlot's not necessarily my jam. This is a nice Merlot. Like I said, if I was going to rate it against other Merlots, it'd be higher. But if I'm rating it for sheer enjoyment, like, am I enjoying it? I'm giving it a three. Hmm. If it was against other Merlots, what would you give it? I like a four or five. Really? Yeah. Because I've had other Merlots, and I'm enjoying this one much more than I have other Merlots. And I think ultimately that's why I'm leaning towards a four myself. Because... I'm not a Merlot drinker, 
I'm not going to buy this bottle again because that's not my beverage of choice. But that that doesn't mean that this isn't a good glass of wine. Yeah. So I'm going to give this four out of five because I feel that's it is a very good Merlot. There are other wines that I prefer. Okay. So that's three for the Space mm-hmm. Cowboy, four for me. Um, can you do worse than this wine? Absolutely. Can you do better? Maybe. There it is. But I think um, <laughs> this cost me anywhere between six to eight bucks mm-hmm. at anywhere you can find it. It's the same <laughs> price. Um, so if you're like, I need a decent Merlot. Mm-hmm. That's uh, not bad. Like, seriously. This is right here. Blackstone Merlot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a California 2018 vintage matters to you. Winemaking processes so that it doesn't anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know. Enjoy it? Yeah. Um, I don't like reds in general, but this one's not bad. I, it might actually be better if I was eating it with, drinking mm-hmm. it with something. Or you mixed it with fruit juices and stuff and made us angry. Would you stop? Oh. Stop driving the cigarette bus. <laughs> um, I'm on it. <laughs> If anything, like you mentioned earlier, this wine makes me want to enjoy it with other things. It really does. So it really does. I would prefer it actually colder. That's I that's our prefer personal preference, though. Yeah, I like a chilled wine. Absolutely, it just sort of is what it is, especially on a day like today. It's hot. So that was the Blackstone Merlot 2018. Um, all right, it's got different the vapors. It, it, it is very warm. <laughs> it's a very there. warm wine. Um, and I, I glad and I hope you enjoyed this another episode of Drinks with Emo. Mm. Um, if you're watching this on the YouTube, feel free to like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you're watching this on the Insta, give this a like, share it in your stories, share it with your friends. Just share. Just share. Just share the, the joy that is Demo and the Space Cowboy. Sharing is caring. Especially when it comes to wine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Any parting shots? No, I'm good. All right. And on that note. It's time to say goodnight. I'm Demosthenes. She's a space cowboy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Stay safe. Choose love. Drink responsibly. Please. Night.